it's time to cut the thuya again. Now we don't like cutting thuya too early in the summer because then it will produce a lot of soft growth. And if we have a harsh winter, who knows after a hot, hot summer that we've just had, if we have a harsh winter, it could damage the actual hedge itself. And we don't want that. So that's why we cut at this time of the year. So I'm gonna continue along. And the most important thing is that if you're right-handed, personally, I will work this way and I can then look at the line of the hedge to get it nice and straight. And I can work up to the top and then we'll of course get a pair of ladders. Someone will support me with the ladders and then we just do the top. This one's a reasonable height. It's about eight foot. So that uh, will work well with me. I'll carry on cutting and you'll see that I'll eventually get to a dip. Now you'll see that if I've lined my cutters up here, there's nothing behind me. Look, nothing at all. Now what I need to do here, if you look at the line of the hedge, the hedge is there, going through here, there's nothing. So all we do is tip it. And that means... Why do we tip it? We tip it so it branches every bit you cut. There's an example. You've cut that and it will branch there and there. And therefore the hedge will get thicker and thicker. So it's, it's not difficult, but use your eye to get a nice straight line because there's nothing worse than a hedge that goes in and out. And this one does go in and out, so we're gonna sort it. So I'd better get on with my trimming. <laughs> 